Hello everyone. In this short video, I'm going to uh, talk about stereo vision and depth uh, from the uh, stereo. Well, actually, it's not exactly depth, but it's related and proportional to depth, which is we call the uh, disparity. So, uh, as you know, uh, all of us human beings, uh, we perceive depth through having both eyes and uh, when you have the left and the right eye or the left and the right camera and you look at something the location of the object in your uh, picture will change from left to right so the object that maybe is in the middle of the left image if you look from the right side, it is shifted probably a little bit to the left. And similar thing applies if you have it's in the middle of the right image. For the left image, it's a little bit shifted to the right. And this amount of displacement of the same object, the same figure, between the two images is what we call disparity. And this disparity is related to the depth. So the further the objects are from you, the further away from you they are, this disparity gets smaller. And when they get closer to you, they are going to get bigger. So some closer objects to your eyes, they move more between the left and right than the objects that are further away. So disparity, as I said, is uh, proportional, but not directly. It's inversely proportional, right? And there is this relation that probably all of you have seen that this parity is basically equal to the baseline of the two cameras, which is the distance between the two cameras in the real world, times the focal length of the two cameras, assuming that they are the same, divided by depth. Okay, and so if you know this baseline and if you know the focal length, if you can calculate this disparity between the two images from here, you can also find depth. Here, I'm going to show you disparity, but again, from this relation, you can easily see that depth is easily achievable. You just need to have those uh, parameters. Okay, and now uh, what we want to do is uh, we need basically the computer vision toolbox. We need matplotlib. I do not necessarily need the math here. I uh, used it for something, but I can get rid of it in this case. And I do not think I need NumPy again necessarily because I was uh, doing some experiments. So I can get rid of them. And then I bring in my left and right images and I bring them in the single color. Okay, grayscale. So you want to pass them in uh, grayscale. And then uh, the disparity algorithm is the way that you calculate it is you create an object from CV2 stereo BM and then underscore create. And then what you need are two numbers to pass to it. One is the number of disparity or disparity levels and the other one is the block size. And then to that stereo object, you use the compute method. You pass to it the left and the right. And the output of that is not depth. As I said, it's disparity. And then I can show you the left and the right image as well as what the disparity. Okay. The default that you probably have seen in OpenCV is 16 and 15. So let me show you that one. And then we can change these parameters and see the results. So here... I run the module for you. It's a very simple code. And this is this uh, two sets of famous images that you see in many of the uh, uh, papers or algorithms for stereo vision that you can find on the Middlebury website as a benchmark uh, set of frames. And this is the left image. This is the right image. You see in the right image this uh, head, as you can see, or this lamp, lampshade, right, this uh, steady lamp moved a little bit to the left if you pay attention you can see also by looking at this guy here that you can see in the right image but you don't see it in the left image so that means in the left image everything moved a little bit to the right so this guy moved to the right out of the view and this is the disparity and here the closer the object to you is okay 
or the bigger the disparity is, the whiter it is, the, the brighter it is. So you see for this uh, light here, it is the closest object to you. Then the next object to you is this head. And then as you move backward, probably the objects on the chair, right? And this kind of a can, right? These are uh, the next level. And then after that, you see this kind of shadow, which is, I guess, that tripod and everything. And then all the way to the back, you can see the objects. Uh, they are not super visible, but they are the objects in the back. And here, uh, do not expect something from the stereo, simple stereo and disparity to be perfect with all the boundaries and everything. So this is not really too bad. Of course, you have some regions that you have no depth right and uh, for the left and the right areas there is nothing because you only see them in one image not the other one so don't be surprised if you see some bands in both images on the left and right that uh, there is nothing for them because you only see them in one image there is no disparity so you only find it for the middle part and as i said you see these kind of islands of black that are not necessarily correct okay and um this is with 16, level of dispar 16 levels of disparity and with um, a window size of 15 pixels. If you change the level of disparity, and the number of disparities should be a multiple of 16. So it cannot pass 20 to it. It should be 16, 32, 64. So if I say go with 32 levels, now uh, you are going to see that those white pixels are basically gone now you have more levels here but it's not as vivid and as nice as when it was with 16 you still see the difference in the disparity levels but it's not as clear when it was white this one was kind of gray and then darker so this guy also goes down into uh, 32 levels instead of 16 so the differences are not as obvious so my suggestion is do not change this to any number bigger than 16 this guy, the bigger you make it, the kind of uh, smoother the field will get. So instead of 15, if I go with 19, now you'll see some of those black regions are going to go away because I'm going to use bigger windows. And it's kind of smoother, as you can see here. Some of those areas are gone. Some still left. But to me, this is a little bit nicer than with a window size of 15. And I can uh, make it even bigger. Now, of course, uh, it is going to blur the boundaries for you when you make it too big. But as I said, it is going to make these black regions a little bit smaller, shrink them and make it a little bit more homogeneous. But as I said, it is going to kill over the boundaries for you. Right. So if I go ahead and instead of 19, I make it like 25 or so. Uh, again, you probably expect a little bit more blurry boundaries, but uh, smoother. So uh, here, you can see that now this kind of um, region here and that object are kind of merged together as one block. This light is still there, right? And um, again, you see many of these black islands are gone. So it's not super bad necessarily. It's, it's up to you to find the optimum number that you want. And again, do not expect something perfect to come out of disparity because disparity calculation has errors. It needs very accurate feature matching and so on, which in simple disparity algorithms is not going to happen. So um, hopefully you have some idea of how to get a disparity map out of the stereo vision. And then these are clearly related to what related to depth right so the bright areas have small depth and then as they get darker they get bigger and bigger depth so hopefully this was useful to you and i'll see you in my next video thank you